Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to side load applications using SideQuest onto your Oculus Quest 2 device. And this works for Oculus Quest 1 and for Oculus Go as well. So if any of those devices, you're all good to go. Oculus Go, Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. OK, so this assumes that you've already set up your Oculus Quest or Go device and you know you're good to go i recommend that you have it updated to the latest version so what you want to do is go to google and literally just google side quest so this is a much better way of doing it than using some sort of adb install like, like this is a lot cleaner and easier so go to click side quest and then there will be a get side quest button where is it get side quest it might be at the top for you because i've zoomed in it isn't appearing but it should be at the top for you if not scroll down first of all you want to download side quest and you'll automatically start downloading i've already got it downloaded so i'm going to cancel that so we'll install that in a second there's a few other things we need to do we need to create an organization it sounds more complex than it is basically go to this link and make sure you are logged into oculus when you go into here if you are not logged into your facebook or oculus account log in then go to create a new organization call it whatever you want i'm going to call it epic studio it doesn't matter you're not making applications you could do if you wanted to but this you know it, it does not matter at all click submit if it comes up that name is already taken then choose a different one as you can see names already taken i'm sorry one two three xyz submit agree that's done that's it uh, as you can see i've created a few before does not matter and we're done with that stage and we can actually close this part down the next stage is to install some drivers this is on windows only i am showing you on windows i will create a separate video for mac and linux so you can follow along with that so just go to developer.oculus.com you know you know this exact link so click that link there go to the tick box click download you'll start downloading i'm going to cancel that i'm going to close that down open this up and i've got it right here so i'm going to go to extract all you can use another extracting tool like winrar or 7zip whatever you want i'm just using the built-in one so it's universal for everyone go in here go in here and this right here you want to double click open no i wanted to install it uh, so right click install my bad install it's super fast that's it that's all there is to it and i've already yeah it's all good so we can go to the next step now so the next step is we need to enable developer mode to enable developer mode you need to do this on your phone that you actually set your oculus quest up with and you can have multiple devices that are connected to it that's not a problem so the overall steps are listed here but now i'm going to take you to my phone and actually show you how to do it also bear in mind once you've done these steps make sure you reboot the oculus quest or your oculus go so that way in settings the developer mode setting does appear we don't need to do anything with it but it, it's just so it's enabled and it appears so i'm going to switch over to my phone now okay so we're going to enable developer no developer mode on our oculus so this assumes that you've already you know this stage assume that you've already set up your oculus quest and you've already connected it to this particular phone make sure you're on the same wi-fi make sure your device is on so you want to open up the oculus app and you want to go to settings and then from here find your oculus quest 2 click it it will connect now what you want to do is go to more settings if that doesn't appear just click the drop down go to more settings and from here this is optional only i mean this ain't optional this won't necessarily be the case if you haven't got an unlock pattern go to unlock pattern 
if you haven't got one that is fine if you do just remove it while you are doing these steps but again i haven't got one so i don't need to worry about it go to developer mode click enable like so and that is it okay we are back we've put the device into developer mode and we can continue with the next stage the next stage is to connect a usb cable and allow usb debugging do not use the cable that came with it it probably will not work recommend that you use some sort of mobile device usb type c which will go into your phone i mean to your headset to a regular usb cable the one i always recommend i'll go to amazon and if i go to anchor usb type c if you type in oculus there are some ones that are verified to work with oculus ugreen is also great so ugreen or an anchor one and it just means that it's a certain type of resistance and you'll just work very well with it so this is the one that i am actually using it's not very long so if you do want to do other stuff with it i recommend I, this video isn't for that but what i will show you if you do want to do stuff like oculus link i recommend getting a new green active active so just type in that i recommend that you get one of these they are not cheap but it is used to be free and they are really really good quality i've tried amazon basics i've tried some other ones and honestly i've never had an issue with the u green stuff they are very high quality and again yeah 24 quid seems a lot but you know it is a five meter cable so it is a short cable so this plus the other one if you want to use something like oculus link it's a little extra tidbit for you so what we want to do is connect the usb cable if you know you have an unlock pattern i already showed you in the phone portion but make sure you disable the unlock pattern so what we want to do now is actually connect up our device so if we just i'm going to put my device on so when you connect it you'll say something about allow usb debugging or allow you know usb connection you want to i would recommend just do always allow from this computer if it's your personal computer So that's something I'm going to do now. Yep, so, okay. And now, almost done. We just need to launch and install SideQuest. I wanted to do all the other stuff first, just so all that rigmarole was done. So yeah, anyone can have it. Click yes. Uh, you can install the web you want i always install my stuff generally speaking to a nova hard drive for storage purposes more than ever anything on the part of your software and i'm gonna put a side quest here but again feel free to install it wherever you want to install So I've just disconnected the cable so you can run it now or you can run it separately via you'll be here and I'm going to minimize this move this over so this is side quest so you are on the most recent version great if not just update it says it has not detected my device that's because I haven't connected it up if I connect it now unauthorized allowing headsets so that option that we was showing here you need to actually do now not before sorry so allow usb debugging so if i put on my headset or if you put on your headset you'll say allow usb debugging i'm going to select always allow from this computer allow and then allow access to data so just click allow again and now if i go to side quest as you can see it has gone green that's great and now subsequent subsequently if i disconnect the cable it will go red if I connect it now, because I already because I, because I said always allow from this device, it's all good to go. So now you can install stuff. So there's a whole heap of content that you can install from here. So if I wanted to install, I don't know, this is a very popular game, Pavlov, but it's a bit big, so I would choose something else. 
let's say if I chose, uh, I don't think this Half-Life is a big, let me have a look. Mm, I don't want something ridiculously big, just because I'm recording a video. Uh, let's try it. So you just want to click install to headset. Again, make sure this is green. It's installing. And then you can see the progress up here. You'll download the APK first. So this one isn't taking too long to download. And then you'll go automatically into the process of installing it. So it's installing the APK. If the APK is a lot bigger, the game or the application, it will take longer. So just be patient. I'm going to clear now. I'm going to go back to here at home. And I want to show you something else. If you've downloaded an APK off the internet, maybe it's just a general Android APK or something more specific for Oculus Quest, Oculus Go, Oculus Quest 2, and a VR application, like I've got this. You can actually get this from the SideQuest store, but I wanted to show you how to install it like this. You just drag it on. Okay. It, that up that used to work clearly doesn't work anymore so you just want to go here the install button and select the dot apk what happened there okay That is strange. Why is not letting me install it? Okay, so actually, if we instead of going to here, if you just go to running tasks, this will be a better way. Sorry about that little delay. Just drag and drop it. It will check APK blacklist. That's fine. APK file being installed. This was a very small file, and that's it. That is how you install games via SideQuest. You can download something from the SideQuest store, which there is loads of stuff. It's just easy to do. Also, you can just install an APK. Let me actually show you where to actually play the application and games that you've installed via SideQuest on the Oculus device. So what I'm going to do is switch over to my Oculus headset. And yeah, I'll see you in there. One moment. So let me just hit record. Okay, so we you should be able to see the actual what's it called now, the Oculus screen. And if we go to your library, and then from here go to unknown sources. All the games that we've installed or our applications are right here. I installed two, T for God, which is via an APK, and then Lambda 1 VR. So if I just click that, just click it, you click allow, and we are in here. We can change some settings. Oh, UV sound effects, UV video. Oh, oh, see what's like as it is. Let's do hybrid course. Well, that wasn't working for some reason. The option wasn't. Maybe it's just loading. Yeah, strange why that option isn't working. Or maybe it is just loading. And I'm being I'm impatient. taking longer than I would have hoped so I will just quit this but again as you can see it is working on you know launch up T for God that should be a okay and there we go I'm looking around which is pretty darn cool play area too small yeah I know I'm literally sitting down And yeah, can start a quick game. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Gold. Press some button. Never actually played this game before. I guess I need to move to there. But yeah, I'm going to take the headset off now. Just close the game down. Okay. So let me just stop the recording. Okay, yeah, so that is all good. That is how you install games via the side loading feature using side quests. Don't recommend doing it in any other way. As of now, there might be a better way later on. But for now, that is a recommended way. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message on Discord or anything else. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Any recommendations on improving the videos, on videos that you want to see, let me know. And I do live streams on a daily basis on playing games, especially VR games. So, yeah, hit me on that. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.